and you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to get a successful result. Now, Ed, um, do you have like a particular mantra or a philosophy that you always go to that allows you to keep staying inspired and moving forward in your entrepreneurial life? Hello, everybody. It's Ed O'Keefe here, and welcome to another one of my podcasts of the Ed O'Keefe Show. Um, this uh, this podcast is an interview with myself, um, and the host of it is AJ Merzad. AJ is an awesome dude who's in the health and fitness uh, personal training market, has a great podcast, and um, this uh, particular uh interview I chose purely because we got really uh, raw in the sense that uh, nothing was held back. He tapped on some really interesting uh, questions that uh, allowed us to kind of go down some pathways that some some people don't ask, you know, and, and really what's the truth about really making money, really growing your business, really living the life that you were meant to live. So without further ado, uh, Let's get at it, and I hope you enjoy it. Please share it. Please be awesome, and uh, we will uh, talk to you next time. Thanks. Welcome to another episode of the Online Super Coach Show. Today, I have a very special guest named Ed O'Keefe. Ed is an entrepreneur, best-selling author, and most importantly, a father of seven. Ed has gone from being dead broke to cracking the code of taking multiple businesses from zero to multiple seven and eight figures. He's a creator and founder of top selling brands such as Inspired Wear, Marine 3D, and strategic consulting products that help motivated entrepreneurs, showing them how to take your idea to market and scale using multiple media channels. Ed, thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, AJ. Hi, everybody. I'm 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 stoked to be here and uh, uh, really looking forward to it. I love I always love talking to people who are uh, committed to health and fitness at some level, um, and then those that are actually taking it to another level. And it's pretty awesome stuff. I think there's a huge correlation between uh, great entrepreneurs and uh, people who. Uh, have the discipline to actually make something of themselves, you know, physically and mentally and stuff like that. So I'm very excited to be here with you. Yeah, absolutely, Ed. Uh, thank you. And, uh, you know, that's quite an impressive bio, I must say. And uh, what really stood out for me was your ability to crack the code from being dead broke to taking multiple businesses to high levels of success. Now, can you tell us a little bit of that journey of being dead broke to being uber successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's still it's the process is still happening, right? You know, mm -hmm. and, um, so I, you know, I come from a great family on the south side of Chicago. Uh, went to you know, I ended up going to this uh, small little school in Iowa, where I um, went to nursing school. I was playing volleyball there. I got a four year scholarship. Uh, came home after nursing and um, uh, told my parents I was not going into nursing, which, as you can imagine, I was the 12th of 13 kids, um, first one to graduate college, <laughs> to come home with the first, you know, we're a very hardworking blue-collar family to come home with actually a professional like degree. Yeah. Tell them I'm not going into that, but I'm going to go do something else. Uh, it, it really went over great, uh, as you can imagine, but... Uh, they thought I was crazy, but they supported me. And then, um, uh, you know, I, I set out to be the next Tony Robbins or next motivational speaker. Um, wow. I, you know, I loved, yeah, I just, I, I, you know, I loved it. You know, I was listening to audio tapes and, and podcasts, I, you know, podcasts weren't around, but the corollary version of that was, you know, Chicken Soup for the Soul and Isaac Zig Ziglar. And I started diving into these audio tapes that told you that you can, you live in a country, and, and, and I would say I would expand it to like right now a world where you know you have the ability to go do what it is you want to do. So so why not go do that? And mm -hmm. my heart was pulling me in different ways, and I believe it kind of resonated at a cellular cellular level, at a core level, at a spirit level that you know I'm I'm gonna go do something and create something amazing, and I'm gonna become a millionaire. I'm gonna go do these things, you know. And um, like a lot of your listeners probably on this podcast. You know, um, you don't listen to these things if you're trying to be average, right? So mm -hmm. 
with the, the challenge with that that I you know I like to say is that when you get your eyes opened up to the possibilities, double-edged sword of that is that now you're never going to go backwards. You could, you know at least the people that are true entrepreneurs. Once they get that bug, they have to. They have to. There's something in their bias says, I have to go do this. I have to go try these things. But the secondary problem was, you know, I was broke for the next four and a half years trying to figure it out. Mm. And so, yeah. And so I think what people can talk about, I like to talk about this when I speak is, you know, I've always set out at trying to go behind the curtain at what, you know, is really working and what, what people really do. Because mm. usually when you see people on stage or you see people on podiums, uh, I mentor a lot of pro athletes and, um, and aspiring athletes. And what people don't realize is that the amount of frustration and grinding and um, loneliness and hard work that goes into that process is very um, uh, related to, um, you know, entrepreneurism. It's very similar. And so in that process, there's something that I always like – kind of laying a found uh, laying a groundwork and foundation with um people i'm coaching or mentoring is that um you know group or even on this podcast is that what you got to realize is that if you're going in that direction your eyes got open you have a new perception you you now have to realize you're in the skill acquisition and learning uh execution you learning and execution game mm. you're just doing it to, you're just doing it to something that may be new to you and uh you know yeah so i i can go on and i love the whole process of learning and stuff like that but i like i like showing the process of that what i find with high level athletes and people that like you know i'm a hobbyist right i'm a hobbyist crossfitter right i go four days a week and then i you know uh, I'm, I'm 39 now i'll be 40 in a few months i know some of your trainers are probably cringing like they hate crossfit or they love it one or the other <laughs> <laughs> but um but, um, but, you know, like, uh, I love learning new skill sets. And the, so I got buddies that are world champion jujitsu uh, athletes. And um, the same process that they just put in for the last six and a half to nine years, if they applied that process to entrepreneurism and making money and building the life they want, they could do anything they want in their whole there, I mean, there's nothing they can't do. There's nothing you can't do. You just have to understand that you still have to go and, and apply the process that you did that got you here already, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with you, you know? Like, uh, if you want to achieve success in any endeavor in your life, there's a, a formula, right? There's a code. And once you understand uh, what that formula is for you, because everyone differs, and you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to get a successful result. Now, Ed, um, do you have like a particular mantra or a philosophy that you always go to that allows you to keep staying inspired and moving forward in your entrepreneurial life? Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you one thing, like inspiredwear.com is our new clothing line. And actually, <laughs> I have a lot of mantras. And the reason I built this clothing line was because I figured, you know, I'm sick and tired of pulling out my drawer, uh, other people's logos. Like I really don't need a Nike or Under Armour logo on my chest to feel amazing. So I, I started putting logos on there that like, you know, what's the stuff we say in the gym? It's like, you know, you fucking, you got this. So I built a shirt that said, you got this. Why? Because, because it, because it's badass, right? It's like, um, what do you say to your partner when they're sitting there crying and about to start, uh, giving up is you got this, you know, breathe, you got this. So I created shirts that, that have phrases and, and stuff that's in my head and I put them on, on shirts and, you know, I didn't, I didn't create the whole world there on that stuff, but, but, um, but I did create a couple cool things. Like one was unrealistic, you know, uh, today I will be unrealistic, uh, and believe something is possible for me and my family that did not exist, uh, before, uh, that's a, that's something different. And, uh, on the, on the front, we have grind, uh, uh, one of our t-shirts, it says grind on the back. It says, don't expect people to embrace your grind or no, to, to, uh, understand your grind. And God didn't give them your vision. Um, and you know, I, I firmly believe that my, one of my jobs is to help people redefine the grind 
and where 99% of the population sees the grind as this thing that um, they do 95 and it sucks. I think uh, I call the grind a universal language that winners instantly understand uh, uh, because it's the process from where they go from where they are to where they want they where they want to be in an unconventional, abnormal manner that separates them from the average person. Mm. So, uh, that, yeah, that gave me chills because because that's the stuff that I think about in my head. And so when shit sucks and you're, you're grinding through, learn, there's always a fusion pattern, there's always a frustration pattern, and there's always an overwhelm pattern when you're trying to, uh, when you're moving through the process to greatness. And it's, it's very, it, it's never talked about. Like my kids, you know, shit, man, my, um, I have seven kids, right? Yeah. My nine, my nine year old's in advanced math, which means he's in, a, uh, he's doing the same math as my 10 year old. And his teacher sends home a letter because he has a C plus saying that she wants to move him back down to basic math. And I said, that is the most fucked up thing I've ever heard because, mm. because if someone is getting a C plus, in advanced math means he's hanging with the best, yet he needs some. He, he's missing something. So you don't fucking quit. You you get feedback and you get coached, right? Yeah. And so you know, like what I want really hardcore for your people to understand is that you know I always call it the six week rule. Like whenever someone walks in the gym and they're new to something, I mean I'm sure you guys would get this right. I'm not. A, by the way, I'm not a certified coach. Nothing like that. I coach volleyball. I have coached volleyball for 19 years and just a student of learning, right? So, uh, but what I'll say to new people that walk in, I'm like, hey, just get to six weeks. And and they're always like, well, so what's after six weeks? I'm like, you, you'll never turn back. You're going to be a different, your, your, your self-identity will shift. And so, so you asked about mantras. I'm going to skip and give you a process. And so mm-hmm. the process I learned is that like right now we're in the t-shirt launching business. So I am scouring the, the globe of resources and people who, who are the best at, at, at say promote, at promoting t-shirts online. And then I, what I do is I instantly start connecting the dots of how they did it. If I can get intros, I get intros. I will pay for consulting. I will go and um, I will try and get them on my team. And what, what I call, this is the leapfrog theory of success, which is, um, which is, uh, comes from the book winning through intimidation by Robert Ringer. Great book. Uh, yeah. 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 Isn't it? Is this great book, right? Yeah. Um, for those of your listeners, if you, if you want to read it, it's, it's, he changed the name to intimidation to be or not to be. I think he just didn't like the social pressure of, Oh, wow. The show. Yeah. I think he got a lot of slack, you know, whatever, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's not it's not how to intimidate people. It's actually just how to actually understand the game of intimidation and how it plays out in business and in life. And yeah. that there's a negotiation. There's an inverse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, everything, right? Yeah. I mean, feeling stupid, right? Anytime you feel stupid, you got to check yourself because you're at the wrong spectrum of intimidation. If you understand that stu- feeling stupid or feeling confused is just the process of learning, and it's nothing to change your posture in a relationship. Um, you instantly gain power back, right? Yes. Um, so the leapfrog theory is this concept of, you know, we you have no, there is no more, you have more, no moral obligation to work your way through the ranks, uh, to ask for any permission to get blessed by anybody. At any given moment, you could just decide and jump to the top of any endeavor that you're going to be. Uh, now, the, the second part of that is is that once you leap there, you need to uh, you need to back up whatever you're promising and stuff like that. But let's just say that's presupposed, right? Because mm-hmm. most people actually have good products; they have horrible marketing strategies. And so, with the leapfrog strategy, the main concept is everything I go into is how do we become in the top as quickly as possible and become the best in the world at whatever it is we're doing. Um, when we started Marine D3, our supplement there, I went and got a longevity doctor. I had a clinician. I had a research team. I had experts that were uh, in um, that were doing the research for me. It was based on an ingredient that had over $50 million back. The doctor, uh, the longevity doctor, was nationally recognized for his work in anti-aging. 
And I was just one person at the table listening uh, and evaluating six different formulations that, that we were going to roll out with. And uh, that's how I decided to uh, create that product. And that product has sold well over half a billion, and not half a billion, half a million bottles. Um, and it's a super high quality antioxidant from Korea combined with a super high DHA from Norway that comes from calamarine oil with a, uh, uh, a thousand milligrams of vitamin D3. Mm. Uh, AJ, I would, I would have never, ever, ever designed that type of supplement by myself. And so, um, then we created our cool like joint relief. And it, the, the reason I share that is when people try the supplement, within three to five days, they feel a difference. Like it, it, the, uh, and so that's what we want. And people, uh, you know, different, different, um, you know, blood pressure, uh, cholesterol, mm-hmm. uh, certain things like that, the, the numbers, it, you know, change dramatically. I'm using my languaging very carefully because of, uh, you know, just claims and stuff like that. Wow. wow. Yeah, man. So that, those are coming. I mean, I, I know I've kind of rambled and I apologize for kind of just, just, uh, giving a little verbal vomit. I think it's, I'm a little excited because I'm talking to athletes yeah. and a- athletes, you know, need to get engaged where, and you guys get this, right? So that's, that's kind of my thoughts. There. Yeah, absolutely. Ed, uh, I just want to backtrack for a moment because, uh, or you were talking about inspired where I went on the website and I just was floored by the shirts. Cause it's totally my thing. I, the first shirt I saw was Today, I will crush it, and I'm sold. I, I, whenever this is coming out, I'm going to buy a bunch of shirts from you because this is totally my style. Yeah, and you know what's awesome is we're actually launching. My goal is to give away 20,000 T-shirts in the next six weeks. And so we're actually wow. just building out the – we're finalizing the technology behind it. So, But it's, um, it's uh, you know, send – you know, to all your friends, and if you, you know, five emails come in, like can join the contest uh, to get a win a free t shirt, you automatically get a free t shirt plus 15 bucks credit. If you send 10, 25, 50, because if you 50, you get two free t shirts plus $70, $70, $70 to go shopping at our store. And we're going to have yoga pants, we'll have tanks. The women love the tanks, tanks make them look awesome and stuff. Um, but here, can I share one more cool thing about it because it's about mindset? Sure. Thing, the thing that has happened with that business that I did not expect is my kids. Um, we do a good job, and our, our goal is to raise confident kids who believe in themselves, right? And then hopefully they 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 go for their dreams and uh, uh, and and help transform the world in the way they do it. Um, that's kind of my definition. My wife might have a different one. <laughs> Her definition might be like we're just trying to get them to do their freaking homework, but. Uh, um, you know, the ki- my kids, and this is the whole. This was the purpose behind Inspired Wear, man, is that if you put messages on kids' shirts, they embody the 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 languaging of it. Wow. They believe in it, and then if that message is going outward, it just creates a higher level energy and trans, you know, like identity level. And since all all change really happens at the identity level, this is kind of the science in my little evil genius behind the head is that. The way you shift behavior is you shift the identity. So uh, instead of wearing logos, we put the positive messages on. So I'm geeked up, I, and I want everybody to jump in there. Make sure you send it to all the all your clients and friends, and get free T-shirts, get you know whatever. So absolutely, absolutely. Wow, there's just uh, so much you shared right there. Uh, I don't know where to start, but let me just go with <laughs> first of all, uh, you know you. Uh, been able to accomplish a degree of success, and uh, now you're starting Inspired Wear. It's a very yeah. competitive marketplace, and you know takes uh, a lot of balls to go into something that's so and to you know create a successful business out of it. And um, people that are listening on the line who maybe are not happy with their current business, you know, perhaps they're working a lot of long hours, not making as much profit as they like, and they have a dream business, something that's passionate within their heart, but there's a lot of fear to take that big leap, right? Winning through intimidation, yeah. just basically up-leveling, going to that dream business. Um, what advice do you have for a person who wants to create something bigger than themselves, but there's a lot of fear and resistance that stops them? 
Yeah, yeah. So probably a lot of um you know, if you're if you're doing personal training or you're running a gym or you're uh trade you're at some at some level you're trading you're trading your hours for dollars, correct? You yeah. know, you're 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 doing a little bit of that. So um that's not a problem. That's not something to beat yourself up about, by the way. I just think it's just one of those observations where you go, Okay, cool. This is where I'm at right now. You know, I'm I'm sitting here and this is where I'm at and I've done a good job at it. And so what I always tell people at that point is to is is number one, beating yourself up about it's not gonna get you where you wanna go. Mm. So, you know, if you're sitting here listening to like Ed telling all these stories about what he's creating, you know, I remember I, I didn't wake up there. I, I, or you know, I we grinded it out and you can too. So what so let me let me walk through a little process that um I'm coaching a couple of high level, like, I, I mean, one of my, one of the things we do, you know, like I, in the intro it talked about, and I'll have to just change a little bit. Like I'm specifically coaching and mentoring guys in the health space mm. to add supplements and products to their line. And with them, you know, you can have one of two businesses, right? You can have a business where there's no personality behind it. And you just sell a widget, you know, like a supplement or shirts or wrist wraps or whatever things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I, you know, what I what I think is really interesting is like, so your options right now are like, okay, you could. Well, let me go through the options first. Okay. So you're, when I look at like, um, do you guys have? Is it are your guys listening to this? Are are there gym owners and uh, personal trainers and like? Like, is it kind of all the above or? So we have a variety of different listeners from uh, gym owners to private personal trainers, health coaches, uh, people that are working in a corporate gym or even uh, employees that are in uh, some type of fitness industry and they want to start their business. Yeah, so you got like a range of all. Okay, cool. So what you guys probably got hit up with a lot is, um, hey, go join Advocare and... uh, you know, you make eight percent, twelve percent commission. Yeah, you gotta go recruit all these people, and um, you know, or or you could go, you know, uh, buy wholesale from like Progenics or some of these other supplement brands, and then you mark it up two to one, and you make you know twenty bucks per sale or something like that. So that's those are all what I would say not bad, you know. Uh-huh. Um, the the main kind of thrust, like when you get to the root of it is people justify doing it because um, they go, well, I get free product that, you know, it helps me with my own, whatever. That's all bullshit, right? Because the, the fact of the matter is you joined it, you did it to make money, mm-hmm. to, increase your net, to increase your net worth. But what you just found when you actually got into it is the margins suck and you got to do a lot of work. Yeah. You're right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so... So where I come in is I'm like, you know, that's all that's all messed up. Like I look at my um my gym owner at CrossFit and he's got a prepay for uh, supplies. He's got a um that 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 like so like Progenics already gets their cut out of the prepay. So they've already gotten paid. Now you gotta go house it and then you're hoping your people buy. And so what happens is you go cash negative to hopefully make money in the next 45 days. Mm. And that's how, by the way, I don't, I don't know if anyone's like actually thought this through, but I'll, I'm going to share a couple observations and a couple things that, that um, I would do for all of your clients right now um, and yourself because I've been thinking about it for years, and I'm like, so I always said, you know, I own a supplement business. I don't need to get paid up front for everything. Mm-hmm. You know, I can pay me, pay me my cost. Pay me, like, if it's a supplement, pay me six bucks or pay me three bucks. I don't care. Just pay me the rest in 45 days. Yeah. And then the second thing is, the second thing is, what's I going to do? The second thing is, um, if you're if, I, if you're sending people to me online, you know, like I always said to guys, like, look, if you go, not to like totally, totally rip on all the brands, but 
the fact of the matter is they monopolize the gym industry and the, and the uh, personal trainer industry because you go send them stuff, but then your customer goes to like uh, the, their their web store and all of a sudden they buy there, you get zero commissions on it, right? Mm. And um, yeah, so all that stuff kind of like, that stuff when I look at that, I'm like, that, that's just, you're, you're in a trap. You're mm. never going to make more money. You don't own the race course. And they're not treating you like a strategic partner. They're treating you like a, uh, like, you know, uh, just a nice referrer, right? Yeah. And so what I've always said is uh, I've been waiting for, like, one of my students to do it. But maybe this is the coming out party of we'll just let you take our omega-3s and all of our supplements, put them in your gym, pay, pay like, half our cost. And then in 45 days, we bill you the other half. If you need more time, just we'll create payment rates. This allows people to have more product. They never run out. They're selling more stuff. That's one. Number two is for Inspired Wear, uh, and it will do either for the health business too, but it's like Inspired Wear, we're creating a lifetime affiliate program where we're going to create our passion ambassadors, which what we want you to do is do your thing, do your Instagram, do your Pinterest, do your whatever, Facebook, social traffic, and when you send people to us, we pay you, um, it varies based on clothing, but it could be anywhere between 20 and 30% of sale. Uh, and then when people come back and buy more, it, again, it's between 15 and 30% of the sale so that you get paid for life mm. on that customer. Why? Because you sent us the customer. So we're in business together. You don't have to set up your own shop to do that, okay? So... Those are like two structures that I think are smarter than running out and end up being in a recruitment business. That's just my opinion on it. Hopefully I'm not offending any advocate or advocates out there. They have great product. I love Drew Brees. Don't hate me. I love their spark. But the fact of the matter is you're not going to get rich promoting something that pays you 8 to 12% commission. Mm. It just does not exist, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're right about that. You're absolutely right, you know, because uh, it is true in our industry, we all get hit up with those MLM people, are you, you know, random emails, people on Facebook, are you looking for more opportunities? And uh, next thing you know, they get you on this uh, pitch, you know, want you to show up to a meeting, and yeah, it's, it's a, a big waste of time, just like you said. And um, speaking of time, right, uh, you are constantly on the move. You know, you're staying busy, making progress, but at the same time, you have a family, right? You have yeah. seven kids, all under the age of 10. How do you balance the family business life dynamic? Yeah, can I, can I, uh, can I finish my last answer? Because I, I don't want your guys thinking I just pitched them and I'm moving on to the next thing. I, <laughs> I have another answer. I have another answer that I just want to, I just want to, so I just want to share this one thing. I'll be brief on it. Okay. So the other, the other option that everybody has who are listening, and this is one that I, I highly recommend, is you create your own uh, race course. So from now on, you will promise me that you start getting everybody's email. You get a CRM or a, like even if it's a Weber or eye contact, and you have a mailing list. And th then you could either promote stuff like AJ's stuff, my stuff, who treat you well, who pay you good commissions, and you could be proud of that. Uh, but then the second thing everybody needs to just kind of grasp, you really need to have your own products eventually that you're also, you know, doing. And you might be going, Ed, well, what product should I have? Well, what I would do is say, what do you love? Like, what do you freaking love? What is something that if you woke up three years from now and you owned those products, even if it was one, two, three, four, five, and you promoted them to your list and you were able to write blog posts about it, do social ads, like do Facebook ads, do Twitter, do Instagram, whatever, whatever it is, man, when you fucking go to your family party or you go to the next thing where all your, your peers are, and you say, this is what we're doing. And people go, that's fucking awesome. That's where you want to be. Mm. And and everybody, everybody can do this. And so the reason why I want to finish that strong is because I would love to hear 10, 15, 100 of your podcast customers all start their own thing. 
and they're selling it on Facebook, and they're, they're selling it to their existing customers. And one day they wake up, and they're making more money than they are right now, and they can say, fuck my the things I hate. I'll never do anything. Like, I'll, I'll, what's freedom, right? Freedom is not having uh, millions in your bank account. Freedom is doing what the fuck you want to do, when you want to do it, on your own terms, and, and more importantly is saying no to anything that, that – because um, this is going to go to your next question, by the way, is having the ability to say no to shit you don't want to do mm. and just say these are, the, these are the rules of my life. And I don't fucking play by conventional wisdom. I, I, all these rules that everyone else follows, they don't belong to us. Will Smith does not fucking play by the rules of the average person. Mm. He pays his taxes now because the IRS shows his door for not paying his taxes. You got to do stuff like that. But to live the extraordinary life, you have to look at what rules you're following and start flipping them one by one and seeing what's on the other side of that, you know? So what we do in our, like, at, at O'KeefeShow.com, we run what's called our health intensives where I show guys how to do that. Cause that is, um, that's where you really empower entrepreneurs to take their stuff to the next level. So, so that, that's my, that, that's just my button. I just want, I didn't want to leave everybody hanging thinking Ed just pitching, becoming an affiliate. I want everyone to be an affiliate, but I really want you to own your own race course and, and grow to multiple six figures, multiple millions of dollars. And for for some of you who get really excited about it, you'll go beyond the eight figure mark, you know. Mm. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's a very a powerful method. Um to go back on the last question, of course. Uh we're talking about balance, right? Because you uh yeah. Really, obviously, have to have balance to achieve a level of success, but at the same time, be there for your family. You know, having seven kids, uh, you know, yeah. requires time and effort and focus. Right. So uh, again, like I, I like I like breaking things back down, right? Because people always ask me, like, well, how do you do with seven kids? And I say, well, the rules that applied ten years ago when we had one don't apply anymore. Mm. You know. Yeah, like I mean, you have to evolve and have rules as we age and, and life changes. You got to understand what framework that you're living by, and constantly be moving pieces and making adjustments and failing at it. You know, waking up and going, man, I feel like a crappy dad today, or I feel like a crappy husband today. Well, yeah, it's because sometimes you are. You're trying to figure out stuff. Uh, I'm outside. I got a car drive by me. Sorry. Like you're trying to you're trying to navigate to navigate stuff that that you know i always like to joke uh aj it's like uh aj do you have any kids no okay she have any kids yet but check it out right i say this to dads i go and even i haven't really said this to moms much because i think dads chuckle more than moms probably would but you think about how many billions of people how many dads and parents have lived on this life right so let's, let's even go to like dating right like how many people have dated in in the world ever 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 right yeah. billions billions right and then you got guys like john gray right books like men are from mars women from venus and he gets divorced like six times right so, <laughs> so there's there's and like the guy i think it was uh it's not dr sears but it's like another guy like how to raise happy confident kids he doesn't have any children right yeah it's like um there's really no roadmap there's there's mentors and people you can model which is something i teach a lot but what I always like to try and share to people is that it's really not about balance, even though it might be, because winning does not happen in a balanced environment, right? Mm -hmm. it, hap it happens in a very present, focused environment. So what I mean by that is that when, when you, you, know, you have to have a life partner and that, that you have values alignment and you're on the same team. Um, and then you have to have real expectations. As I'll speak from a father's perspective, where I, I sit there and go, okay, what is it I want to create for my family, and what kind of relationship do I want to have with my children, and what kind of what does that mean to me? Mm. For different people, it means different things, right? Yeah. So, um, 
me, I, 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 I don't like, there's, I don't work. I'm not, a, I think about business a lot, but that, that means you need to start leveraging and, you know, you got to build teams, you got to leverage and you may pass up opportunities, right? Like I watch some guys who just get so hung up. I'm like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta do this. And she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. Well, either a, she doesn't understand or B, you just don't have real ex- realistic expectations, uh, uh along your values and they're not aligning right now. Mm. Um, that's kind of deep and I don't want to go too deep on it. What I would say to everybody is that you can have both and I do have both and it's by design. Uh, and my kids would not tell you that dad's gone a lot. They would not actually, they may think dad travels a lot because they don't know the, uh, what traveling a lot would be like, you know, twice a month for a couple of days, uh, maybe normal for me. But I, I, I tell everybody, uh, I try and keep a 48-hour rule, which is I'm not gone longer than 48 hours. Mm. Um, and I think there's just some simple rules, right? If you want to have a good marriage, be kind to your spouse, even mm. when she's crazy or he's crazy. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I mean, there's just there's simple things like that. But, um, you know, it, it's just one it's just one step in front of the other, brother. I, 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 uh, uh, I think the key thing is defining the rules, creating your process, and then sticking to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can do that, man. I bet you one thing, when you're an entrepreneur that has the ability to set set their own rules, you uh, have a lot more options and are around a lot more than, uh, if you want to be, than people who don't have those controls. That's a great point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Let's say you are discussing entrepreneurship with your children. Um, what would you say are three top skill sets you would like your children to do as young entrepreneurs? Uh, create something they they're passionate about. Yes. Um, so I'll give you I'll give a very specific example. Uh huh. My Reese is definitely like is most curious right now about uh about what we do like like we're dad because she's my artist right so she wants to draw design stuff like that and um so i showed her how like the same stuff she's buying on amazon or she wants at target we can get from china and um and then she could sell it on ebay or amazon and make money Mm. and like that could be her allowance right and so she's way curious about that, right? Yeah. Um, so I think that's number one is, you know, you know the market, um, the real marketing formula, like the fail-proof model, is find people who find a rabid, hungry, targeted market yeah. that you could then go target. But but I think we're in a day and age now where I would start with the what are you ridiculously passionate about that if you – because we're in, we're in such a social age, AJ, yeah. that that you and we're in such a, a global economy where you can get things. Mm-hmm. I spoke to an inner city group here of uh, kids uh, on the south side of Chicago, and I said you have all the same attributes and benefits that Under Armour has. So, like you asked me earlier about competitiveness, like, well, I have the same resources they do. <laughs> I can go. I might not have like the jillions of dollars sitting in my bank account, but I can go get uh, similar uh, apparel. Mm-hmm. Um, 98% of the population don't really care the difference between the microfibers uh, that may allow you to uh, compete at a 0.01 second percent faster because you're wearing Under Armour versus the, the uh, you know, American Apparel or Next Level brand that feels awesome or the, you know, whatever. Most people don't know that difference. Yeah. So I, I so on a, on a quality one, okay. Now number two is, uh, you mean I can create videos and stick them up on YouTube? Yeah, you can with a little iMovie thing that costs, you know, maybe it comes free on a Mac, and a high school kid. Okay. Now, can I sell on Amazon? Yes, you can. Can I go on eBay? Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Can I start my own shopping cart? You don't need to, not it. You can go on Etsy or any of these other uh, things. So you have a platform that if you created something awesome, 
you can go out and get that and you can get started. You don't need a lot of money. You don't need a lot of things. You need a lot of, you need to just understand how to do that, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, you have a lot of stuff going on, you know, and, and, and it's great. A lot to be uh, excited about. And, uh, you know, for, for our listeners right now, um, what is one thing that, that, that you would feel benefit them in terms of, um, that you're very excited about that you want to share? Yeah. Okay. You mean like uh, my resources and stuff, or are you talking about like, what's one bit of advice in terms of, uh, your projects, you know, the, uh, of course oh, we, cool. we discuss inspired where, and, uh, you know, what, what, what are you really excited about that you want to share with our listeners? Well, what I'm really excited about, like, on all, we have three brands that we're, we promote. Marine Essentials, The Ed O'Keefe Show, which promotes me personally, and um, Inspired Wear. What I'm really passionate about right now is that we're, we are going to promote all three companies with the same process. Uh-huh. In that, in that, the integration of social media like Facebook ads to uh, having a, a blog with amazing viral content, with um, referral programs, with amazing products, and the power of bringing on like uh, highly talented team members and to bring on passionate investors for both those businesses. Um, I, that whole process excites me. Yeah. But, um, and, uh, I think we're, you know, we're going to, I think, you know, they, they said, um, this is something I want you to know. Like I'm 39 now. I told you that I'm going to be 40 here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying getting older, brother. Like I'm enjoying the process of, uh, getting a little bit older and feel I'm more fit now than I was when I was 30. Um, I have better friends now, like meaning I have deeper relationships with the people around me. My kids are fucking awesome. My wife's amazing. And um, uh, there's my, one of my best buddies, uh, Vinny Fisher, told me that he said to me, he goes, hey, do you want to know what the average age is for successful startup owners? Hmm. And something like that. And the answer was 45. Wow. And I, I yeah, I, I, I kind of, I guess it actually, because I feel, and I truly believe this, I really hope it's resonating through this, this uh, call together that at a core level, you know, I, there was a few years there where I felt like my best years, like we, we grew, uh, I had a dental marketing business that grew really, really fast. I made a lot of money in a short amount of time. And I also blew up, I also made a lot of mistakes. And there was a part of me that felt like I I missed my window of like like, I, I, like I'm already past my prime. Mm. And and um, what I want to share with everybody, take age out of it. I think we get better as we go if you're willing to have that framework of life. And so the retirement thing, like I had certain numbers I wanted to be hitting by now. I'm shy of my numbers. I don't care. Um, you know, when I'm 75, man, I'm gonna be doing some cool shit. Yeah. So, you know, I think that take retirement out of that. Take this whole concept of like walking away and and just fucking off board that philosophy because the people here that are listening are winners. So winners don't fucking go and retire. So you're not the lion. Like check this shit out, right? You look about the lions and end up saying. Um, when the young, when the young lion wants to take over the pride, they fight off the older lion and kick him out. That's not you. <laughs> and so don't have that mentality. You know, we're not going to go lay off in the pride. No one's coming in my pride, right? We're, we're fucking, I'm, I'm growing my pride. I'm going to be running this jungle, right? This is my place. And so you don't get there by having a mentality that someday you're going to atrophy and rest. You know, your best years are to come. And so I think that combined with this awakening that I may have had uh, of really starting to see how uh, the social opportunities combined with global, combined with um, how fast things can move is going to create more 
uh, millionaires and billionaires in the next, you know, seven years than, than at any other time. So if you feel like you have value, stop hiding it and go do it. You wow. Know? Mm-hmm. Powerful. Powerful. That was like so inspirational. I'm just, you know, I'm getting chills after uh, reflecting on what you just said. Yeah, nice, brother. Yeah, no, I mean, well, hey, that's just what it's supposed to be about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, absolutely, absolutely. We're going to have a little bit of fun now. So, uh, yeah. What, what's a question that I didn't ask, but I should have? Oh, cool. Good, good one. Um, I would say, how is it you get access to high level people almost accidentally? Mm. Ah, you want to know this one? Okay. That's, yeah, so, I'm, I'm curious right now. Yeah, you just opened the loop. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so so here's a question I want everyone to ask is whose success that if they experienced it would make your success that happen that much faster? And another one thing is if your success occurred who would you who who has a who that is a high level influencer would experience a dramatic success because of it? Okay. So my Mike, I'll, I'll give you an example of it's happening to me right now. So my average consulting day is twenty thousand dollars. If you want to spend a day with me, you mm-hmm. can go through everything for whatever. It's twenty thousand dollars. So I have a guy flying out Wednesday uh, who. Uh, He's on the cover of Iron Iron, uh, you know, whatever. As a, it's not Iron Man, but it's like it's, he's a, in muscle and fitness, and he's on all the national, international brands for oh, wow. weightlifting. And um, he's flying out for a day and a half, and I and I, and I really uh, was wondering, I'm like, how the fuck did he get? He's getting free consulting for a day and a half, and I and I'll tell you exactly how it happened because I, I backtracked it. First of all, super high level guy. I like being around high-functioning people. Kind of like the guy from Spartan, uh, go to see a, Oh, you yeah. Know, I interviewed him. Wow. Yeah, and he was just talking about how he just his whole life is about putting himself around high-functioning people. And um, and so so I, I get geeked up. Like, I mean, really, if someone's just crushing crushing it in life, really, if they're like, I'm in Chicago, like, can we swing by and have a cup of coffee? I would say yes. 99 out of 100 times, as long as I, you know, I, the window's there, of course, right? Why, why, would, why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. But, anyhow, but um, when we met, uh, he, he was talking, and, he, and uh, someone asked him a question about his nutritional plan. He said, well, you know, we designed a very non, it's a very non-inflammatory diet simply because my wife uh, uh, has, Hajima, has Hajimoto's uh syndrome or whatever where it's the thyroid condition right uh-huh. immunosuppressed my wife has the same thing so he gave us the diet next thing you know she's getting great results next thing you know he's like well hey we're coming out with this product and we want to promote all your products on the back end wow well for me it's a win-win so he's creating enormous value for me so i'm willing to sit and just give him everything on a silver platter because he may create a value for me so he just let frog into uh, you know, getting that because so he, he identified uh, where the, the the value could be created, and so I'll share I'll share two more examples of this. Now, okay. what I just shared for everybody is is like obvious. Like you're sitting there going, okay, that that's obvious. Then, um, so uh, strategically, uh, a really good friend of mine who runs a half billion dollar year company share a strategy with me on how what he'll do is he'll he'll have a circle like when he goes and he's an international investor and his strategy would be to get in the circle wherever he goes of the biggest players Mm. so the wealthiest people the biggest influencers and whatever and what he would do is he would fly into a city he would call up a uh he would call a bunch of law firms find out who represents some of these guys, the wealthiest guys, he'd tell me he's an international investor and he needs to meet. And then he'd go have a meeting. Uh, he'd position himself. He'd take the most expensive place. Um, 
in the city, and then he would um, have them set him a car. So he positioned all this strategically. Yeah. He went to the meeting. He'd interview him. At the end of the meeting, he said, "Okay, that's I. I, I want to retain you. What is the down? What is what can I pay you today, or what do I need to pay you today, or whatever?" And he write a check right there. This is what he figured out: that a lawyer, a very expensive lawyer, their advice might be worth pennies, but their Rolodex could be worth millions. Wow. And so what would happen next is um, instantly he'd be getting invited to every party and get introduced as an international investor in that same circle of all the other people. So within, so he let frog into that circle. Okay. Um, now what I try to do is, is, and then I had another billionaire, almost billionaire friend tell me this strategy where, he was trying to get access to a billionaire, so he looked at the five people the billionaire spends the most amount of time with, and all he focused on for six months was creating value, creating value, creating value, creating value, to the point where the billionaire, and every time he saw the billionaire, he didn't push anything. He was just very polite. All of a sudden, one night he was out, cocktail, and the guy said to him, hey, I, I, would, I hear all these great things about you. Would you please come uh, uh, spend some time with me? Next thing you know, they're doing deals together, billionaires mentoring them, and whatever. So I have a couple philosophies in life. One is I give everything away. Uh-huh. I uh, I give everything away. If you ask me my biggest secrets on whatever, I, at the end of it, you'd be like, well, there's really not. I just shared all the secrets. There's no more secrets because I didn't make these secrets up. But most people just need help with the gaps. And that what I find is that my best clients, people who care me the longest, who pay me the most amount of money, um, um, they came off just, they're watching videos where I reveal everything. <laughs> like where they're and, and what happens is people are like, man, I just want to be around that so that when it's so that, cause what, what high level guys want AJ is, is not the secret. They need mm. distinctions. Mm. So they're like, they're like, okay, so I'm going to do this Ed, and here's all my ideas on how I'm going to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and by the way, I just I had two questions for you. And they asked the questions. That's the small little micro question that you know, like in jiu-jitsu, right? You, you, or or in, in martial arts, you know, you leading in a certain way or you 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 uh, having your your um your thumb placed a micro inch in one direction versus the other uh might not matter to uh brown belt below. Mm-hmm. But when you're trying to become a world champion and you're at the black belt level, that micro centimeter inch or whatever you want to call it, yeah, and matters. the timing of it mm-hmm. is everything. That's mm-hmm. everything. That's the difference mm-hmm. between, you know, winning and losing, right? They're they're looking at micro stuff. So so I believe that the high functioning guys that want to be around you are, are will pay you for that. Now here, here's my last thing. So so I'm doing some. You got viral marketing. So, so the reason I said I share everything is because I don't like really worry about karma because I don't have to, because everything that goes outward is so positive that when it boomerangs back, I mean, there's, I mean, I, I don't have haters, you know, I don't have people out there being like, I don't have to worry about that shit. Right. Yeah. Let somebody else deal with that low energy stuff. So, so my last thing on this is now. Um, all right, I'll tell your audience this. So one thing we're going to do with Inspired Wear, this might totally fucking backfire, is I'm listing five people out that I think would be either investors in the company or down the road who I want to know to know about me uh, and, and kind of gravitate towards me by accident. Like kind of which, what everyone's got to do is the gravitational pull stuff is very, very intelligent. And so what I'm going to do in the next week or two is have a marketing intern go on LinkedIn and get their whole Rolodex of their company that they spend time with at CNET, right? You with me so far? Yes. And I'm going to send their entire company a T-shirt with a note that says, I appreciate you, (laughs) dash the person's name. Wow. Hashtag inspired where. 
hashtag best boss ever. And so this motherfucker's going to be showing up and people are going to be like, hey, thanks for this shirt. This is amazing. I love this shirt. My kids love it. And all of a sudden, they're going to be there going, who the fuck is sending me shirt? Who just did this? It, so uh, what do you think of that one, AJ? That is genius. <laughs> I just, you know, that is an immense level of value giving without asking for anything in return, but at the same time doing it so strategically, it is genius. So, yeah, I mean, it's like kind of a reverse punch. Instead of like making someone look stupid, you're making them look great. Yeah. So, um, so those are the types of things that like if you guys, you know, and then, then the other one, I, and I know it's kind of went sideways, but I think relationships and mentoring is like the name of the game, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, the next thing is that what I'll do is I'll just pay for it, flat out pay for it. So, I, I you know, you look the, 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 the I go up the step ladder, you know, either course, better thing, go to the seminar, get private consulting. Where do I need to be to get private access to a mastermind? Are they doing something that's exclusive? That's where I want to be. And sometimes you got to grind your way to get to the cash flow that you can do that. And you need to build your business or yourself in a spot so then when you're there, that advice has has um, long term uh, long term exponential value to you. So you don't want to be a newbie with nothing in 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 um, in play, and then you're asking questions that are not really applicable. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, dude, I, I can give you so many examples right now, like, because this is the stuff I think about all the time. Like, like before you, like, so uh, I get access to some of the world's best Amazon rankers, the world's best uh, viral guys. Before I ask them questions, once I get a little bit of their questions, the rule is we go be very literal about their advice. We go do it. And then now when we come back to them, that's another thing I do really well, is uh, when we come back to them, we're, we're the one out of 100 that actually did something, and we try and do it at record speed. So when we come back and ask, ask a really specific question, you blow them away. And so that's how um, you do high-functioning things. Now, I'll tell you one thing. When I meet high-functioning, high, super high-level athletes or entrepreneurs, if they're a me guy and a I guy, oh, man, I'm fucking out of there. I don't care who they are. I'm done. Mm. Can I tell can I tell a funny story? Sure, go ahead. I was with someone. I was with somebody who's a micro celebrity. They got six million fans. They got this and that. And I did something to create enormous value for them at record speed. Followed my system, and it was like uh, it was so much negativity that within thirty seconds, brother, I excused myself. I turned to my. Uh, Buddy of mine who's a high level marshal who's in is in UFC and stuff. I turn to him and I go, I will never fucking do business with that person. And so it, it took me that long. It was just so fast and I was gone. I was like, boom, wow. gone. And that person will never know what happened. They will never know. I didn't I didn't do anything negative, you know, I I just I just exited stage left and uh and and, and w deleted that out of my life. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, that, that, that that's great that you have such a, um, you know, standard, right? To basically only deal with people that are aligned with you. Yeah, and so, you know, obviously that takes time and rules and stuff like that. But, you know, the same rules you have when you're when you're broke, you want to uh, have that when you're when you're making money. And then uh, it becomes actually more important. But you want to keep that consistent. So it's all good, man. Yeah, yeah, Ed, I just uh, really want to thank you so much for your generosity because you just shared so much. You are literally giving it all away. I mean, I'm just like blown away by the, by the insights I've been having on this interview. And uh, of course, you know, you're getting a lot cool, of people man. that uh, want to seek you out, want to learn more about you. So where can they go to find out more about you? Yeah, go to, um, thanks, brother. I really appreciate it. So like, I mean, obviously, like I've kind of, I talked about my couple businesses. Um, Inspiredware.com. Please, please uh, support the cause. Join the movement. You know, become a passion ambassador. And if you want to make money, there there will be an affiliate program up in the next month. It won't sign up right now, but you know, stay tuned on that. And then uh, Ed O'Keefe Show is where I uh, create my videos and I interview awesome people like yourself. And uh, I'll post this interview. Like I'll write a blog and brag about you and put it up there and share with people. 
But also, just so everyone knows, like, um, if you want a free product, go there as well. Opt in. I'll send you a link to some of our omega threes and our marine tree. I'll give you a coupon code to go get it uh, first month free or something like that. We won't trick you in any auto bills or anything like that. I mean, uh, we you can click on it. But um, uh, yeah, you know that's that's kind of my like little hub spot that of, uh, of just awesomeness that we're just trying to create. You know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I, I checked out. Uh, some of the stuff you have, and you're right, the content is incredible, just the amount of stuff that, that you have on there. Thanks, brother. Yeah, thank you. Awesome, awesome. So, Ed, uh, I appreciate you once again, and uh, it was awesome being on the show. All right, yeah, thanks, thanks, AJ. Thanks, everybody, so much. It was great chatting with you, even though we weren't really chatting, but we kind of are now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, have a good one, buddy. All right, you too, buddy.